Yo guys, what's up? I'm Skello and today I will show you how you can add map loaders to your Gorilla Tech copy. So first what you want to do is you want to go over to your custom map. If you don't know how to make a custom map, I'd recommend you go over to my either my YouTube channel or my Discord. Go into the channel called Self Made Custom Maps and then you will find the tutorial. And if you already know how to make a custom map or you already have a custom map, then I'm sure you need a map loader. So first what you want to do is you want to select like your uh, the, the custom maps tunnel and like the whole area. I have a tunnel, floor, top and walls. And what you want to do is you want to drag them out of the map. Like for example mine are in forest and you want to put them in level. So that they are their own like custom map. Now what you want to do is you want to deselect the tunnel and then only select like your uh, custom map. Then you want to right click, create empty and then name it like your custom map. I'm going to just name this custom map like this. And then for now I will disable it. Now what you want to do is you want to go over here to networking triggers, geo triggers. And then where is it at? Is it wait? I gotta search for forest, forest um, map loader. Yeah, it's geo trigger. Then let's just take caves. Um, so basically, yeah, what you want to do is you want to copy, so like take caves, copy and paste, and then you want to take it and then drag it like somewhere over here, and then name it like custom map or whatever the name of your custom map is. Um, so basically now what you want to do is you want to select both of those leaving cave geo and entering cave geo and you want to enable the mesh renderer and it looks like they are right here let's just drag them over here so now we have leaving cave uh, cave geo and you want to just change cave to your custom maps name I'm gonna just name this yet again custom map and same for this one custom map and then basically now you just want to position it so i'ma just rotate it real quick leaving geo i'ma make it so that they are a bit aligned and right now i'ma just focus on the entering one so the entering one you make it want to make it like somewhere over here and then i'ma just scale this up so that it's covering the full tunnel just so you can't get outside the map very good and then for the leaving one i'ma put it right here yeah around the corner that's good let me just scale this one up again yeah this should be good and then now what you want to do at entering cave geo what you want to do is you want to remove first of all you want to remove both of those and then at the entering one, you want to make uh, sure that this is enable, uh, disabled. You want to drag in forest. So forest gets disabled or whatever map you have connected to your custom map. And then at make sure this is enabled, you want to put in the custom map. Now the same is for the leaving one, but it's the opposite. So make sure this is enabled forest and then make sure this is disabled custom map. And then now what you want to do finally is uh, select both and then turn off mesh renderer. And you should be good to go. Let me just check, uh, test this real quick. Yep. So right here. Um, player. Girl player. You just take the hands real quick. What up center? Scale and put in here. Just so I have no issue moving. And then, oh wait, I forgot I have a WASD player script here. So I can just get over there. Okay, so this should work. So yeah, right here. And then if I go in here, yeah, see the map map is loaded. And then this over here is not loaded. And when I go back, 
Oh wait, I forgot. Uh, hold up, I gotta fix this real quick. Um, I forgot that this was part of the tunnel, so I have to put leaving right over here. Uh, let me just do this real quick. So leaving. Cave Geo is over here. And let me just scale this up again. And now this should work. Let's just test it again. Okay. And I don't want to bother putting the hands there again. Okay, it's like this. And then let's just get over here. Okay, wait, well, maybe I have to shrink the hands a bit. Um, player, and then hands, scale the hands down. And let's just go over here. Okay, so like I said before, entering is fine, and then now exiting is fine as well. Yeah, so, uh, there you have it. This is how to add uh, map loaders to your Gorota copy. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. Also, make sure to join my Discord. And I see you guys in the next video. Bye.